Un especial, una banda que muchos de ustedes conocen se encuentra de regreso por fin aquí en la República Mexicana. Nos da mucho gusto poder platicar con Papa Roach. Tenemos la oportunidad de platicar con, con su líder, con Jacoby. First of all, it's an honor. Thank you very much for your time this interview. Oh, right on. Thanks for having me, man. You're back here in Mexico. How do you feel about it? I feel great about it, man. It's been quite some time. I think it was like 2004 or yeah. five was the last time we were here with Marilyn Manson. So uh, it's been a long time coming. We miss our fans here. We know we've seen them blow up our social media for years. I'm like, we're going to come, I swear. And then <laughs> next thing you know, I'm in the studio again working on a new record. So finally, uh, it's time. We're back. Glad cool. to be here. And now, precisely talking about uh, that new album, a lot of people want to know information about this new album. They know some of the names of the songs, but do you know where is it, when you're going to release it? Uh, probably in uh, September or October. Oh, September October. Cool. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the creating process of this album. How much different was if you compare it with The Connection? Um, it was completely different than The Connection. Um, the Connection we did in Sacramento, uh, back home in our own studio, and took a long time recording it. And uh, this time around, we went to Las Vegas. We worked with a producer, Kevin Churko, Kane Churko. They did In This Moment. That was the band that really, that record just, blood, it just, <laughs> it moved me. And so we wanted to work with them, and, and they were like, well, you got to come to Vegas. I'm like, oh, man, Vegas. <laughs> yeah, sure. You suffer a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but we went to Vegas, and uh, it turned out to be a great experience. We went there with zero material written. I had one chorus written. We showed up with nothing. Pretty much, we were just like, all right, cool, we're here to record a record. And uh, then we just uh, started writing riffs right on the spot, and the music just, it was like a floodgate opened. And uh, it was, uh, it's music that's inspiring. Um, I'm very convicted in uh, what I put down with the lyrics and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's got an element of desperation. It's got elements of hope. It's got darkness and light. It's got that transformation in it. And, uh, you know, uh, if, uh, if I were to die tomorrow, this is the record that would be my final statement. Like that's, that was my goal when I went in to make the record was what would I say if I was gonna die tomorrow? Cool. Now, uh, talking, talking about, about this material, do you know what is gonna be the first single? Uh, not yet, we just sent the record into management. And so we know what we like. Uh, there's a couple tracks, you know, in particular, there's a song called uh, Falling Apart that we really like. There's another song called Face Everything and Rise that we really like. And uh, so, but we'll see what the suits say, you know, what the record company see it, you know, thinks about the songs, and then uh, we'll come to a conclusion after that. Cool. Now, how hard is to uh, catch a new generation of, of fans uh, after so many years? I mean, when you start right now, it's a totally new generation, and, and you, your band has been really consistent, like uh, releasing albums like so often years, but how, how hard is to like, keep the attention of this new generation? Uh, you know, that is what it is, man, it, and it's tough. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's video games we compete with. There's yeah. other bands we compete with, movies, social marketing, electronic music, pop music, hip-hop. You know, there's the competition for rock is huge. Yeah. And uh, so we just want to... What we do and what we believe that we do that keeps people's attention is that we make honest music that we believe in that's from the heart. Like, with this new record, I just went in and said... Let's just make the best version of Papa Roach that we believe in today. And if people believe in that, good. At least we believe in it. Cool. Now let's talk about uh, the story of, of the band. Uh, you've been touring with such great uh, other bands. I'm going to choose two and tell me what you remember about touring yeah. with them. Start with Motley Crue. Oh, Motley Crue. That was awesome, man. That was, a, that was a fun tour. I remember the first day we went on that tour, rolled up in Tommy Lee's dressing room after the show and raged, man. Drank way too much Jägermeister, passed out, woke up the next day like, what happened? <laughs> So what happens when you party, party with Tommy Lee, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was a great experience. I got to sing on stage with Motley every night. We did that song, Saints of Los Angeles, which, yeah. which was really cool. And, uh, you know, I actually became really good. I became really uh, good friends with Nicky. Nicky's like a really good friend of mine. And uh, he's one of those guys that, you know, when I'm going through some shit in my life, I can pick up the phone and call him. And, like, he's just a – he's been through it all, cool. you know. And I'm like a younger artist. And so, uh, you know, it's good to get advice from somebody like that. Cool. Now, the other one, Mr. Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, Ozzy Osbourne? I remember uh, we did Ozfest back in the day, and there was this one show, it was just pouring down rain, and I was just totally drenched, and the crowd was going freaking bananas. And I turn around, and Ozzy's looking at me, and he just goes, 
Uh, he just gives me a, you know, one of those. I'm like, yeah, dude, I got the blessing from Ozzy. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, now, uh, talking, talking again about the, the story of the band, what could be the biggest lesson that the Infest album gave it to you after so many years that you look back and see that album? Um, to be honest, to speak from the heart, to speak where you're coming from, and stick to your stick to your guns, and do what you believe in. Because if you just follow a trend or follow whatever's next or, you know, I mean, I'm inspired by new things. That's yeah. true. And we've always evolved. And that's, that's, that's another element of why we are who we are. But uh, really sticking to your guns because when we were writing the record in Fest and we were trying to get a record deal, people were telling us, well, you're not metal enough. You're not punk enough. You're not pop enough. You're not rock enough. You're not this enough. And we were just like, well, we're P. Roach and this is who we are. Love us or leave us. And I think that's what I learned from that record. Cool. Now, uh, also you have the opportunity to, to work with uh, one of the greatest Mexican music idols, Carlos Santana, for the Smoke in the Water, uh, the purple version. Tell us a little bit about the experience. Uh, that was an excellent experience. That was one of the moments where I just had to like pinch myself. I'm like, is this really happening? Am I in the studio with Carlos Santana? And uh, it was a great experience. Got in the studio, and I remember he's like, Oh, Kobe, you know, you go up in there, you gotta sing like you're in the swamp. And I'm like, <laughs> Sing like I'm in a swamp. I don't, I don't follow you. And I'm like, All right, whatever, you know. So I go up in the studio, and I told the producer, I was like, Turn the heat in the studio all the way up, as hot as it can go. And I sang in that studio, and I came down, and I was just dripping in sweat. Cut my clothes were soaked. Yeah. And I was like, So what do you think, Carlos? Is this swamp right here? Is this I'm hanging out in the swamp? And he's like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, That's what's up, man. Then I showed up at home and I got home like two days later. I opened up my door and there's like this big old giant thing of white roses. I'm like, damn, who about Lady Roses? You know, I'm looking up. It's from, so Santa. It's from Santana. Oh, awesome. You know, it's pretty cool, man. It was definitely like, you know, surreal moments for me. But that was a that was a great moment in, in my career. Cool. Now, if you if you have to describe Latin American crowd, how can you describe it? Passionate, fiery. I love, I love Latin American crowds. You guys are just off the chain. I don't know why, man. I, I just, there's something about, I don't know which, if, if there's something in the water that y'all drinking down here, but just the Latin American crowds are just, psh, cool. And, they and got that. Are you preparing uh, also a, a tour for South Central America? Yes, we are. Um, last year, or maybe the year before last, we had to cancel a tour. I've had to go get surgery on my voice. And uh, I blew my voice out again and went back and they were like, well, you can get surgery. If you go do this tour, you're probably gonna have to go get surgery or if you just stay home and not talk for three weeks, it'll calm, you know, the, it'll calm down again. And then you'll be able to tour. And so uh, I had to cancel the tour, the fans were pissed, but I gotta take care of myself, man. Uh, of you course, know, it's like of course. this thing, this voice is like, this is my instrument. You know, I'm a little sick today too, man. I'm like, oh man, I woke up, I'm like sweating. I'm like, oh dude, but the show must go on. Of course, you're totally a professional, and I guess that uh, so many time without talking is like living just with your thoughts. Uh, did you discover something about yourself that you didn't know um, during this time? Not everything that comes out of my mouth needs to come out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, God gave me one mouth and two ears, so maybe I should just listen some more. Jacoby, it's an honor. Thank yeah. you very much for the time of this interview. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, um, we're gonna hear the new material really soon. Yeah. Uh, do you gonna put it on on internet first? A uh, couple of songs to hear. Oh it yeah. Tonight? We're gonna we're gonna do a special release of the of the new single with the video and the making of and all that stuff probably in uh, July or August. So keep your ears peeled, your eyes peeled on the internet. Go like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram or whatever. And uh, we'll keep you updated on what's going down in the P. Roach world. All right. All the respect, man. That's Thank you up, very man. much. Ya lo vieron, Papa Roach.